Jack Knife is saying, how do you guys deal with grief as a non-believer? I need some advice. Well, to be honest, I haven't really had to experience or go through like, um, I mean, I've experienced grief, but not because of someone dying. I'm assuming that's what you mean. Or just so um, I don't think I'd be able to give good advice because I haven't experienced that really as through my non-believer phase of my life. Um, Armand would give better experience because you lost your mom. Yeah, I mean, when you say as a non-believer, it's almost suggesting that believers have better tools to deal with this. Uh, I think from a philosoph for, like from a philosophical perspective, they don't have better tools, okay? From a community perspective, they might have better tools, right? For people who are, and that's that could only be resolved with, by us being there for each other, okay? But from an individual perspective, I think a non-believer is well more equipped to deal with grief with grief than than a believer because what you have what i think okay i'm not a trained psychologist so take what i'm taking with a grain of salt so okay this none of this is expert advice right um there, you know but what i assume is true which it could be wrong is that you're supposed to be sad okay and you have you're supposed to express the sadness you're not supposed to like when something bad happens, you're supposed to let you're supposed to let the sadness like take over you and for you to express it. You're not supposed to because if you fight it, then it could crush you and it could also just stay with you for much longer, right? And I think what belief tries to do what belief tries to do as as what religious people claim that they have is an antidote as a way to suppress the sadness but the sadness is not going to go away all you're doing is not expressing it or hiding it or trying to convince yourself that the tragedy that has happened is not as bad as it is i think you should just instead of when something bad happens and in reaction to it you're being sad about it there's nothing here to solve you have to allow yourself be sad about it you shouldn't be like this is sucks this is sad how do i stop myself from being sad don't be sad something shitty happened forgive yourself for being sad you're having the correct reaction you're having the correct reaction just just don't think that there's nothing here broken for you to fix your life there's something a tragedy has happened okay the fix this your sadness is the fix your sadness and your grief is how you deal with a tragedy if you re if you think the solution is to remove the grief to make yourself less sad no that is that is really i think that is just suppressing some your bodies and your your mental your 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 mind's way of trying to deal with what just happened okay so just go through that grief accept it accept the sadness be honest with yourself and just be like this really sucks really sucks and guess what life is not going to be always good this is part of life you're not going to go through life without a couple of tragedies and this is you you going through this grief you're going through this tragedy is what living is is part of living there's no way to you know go around this you're going to have people you love and there's going to stuff there's going to be stuff that happens and there's not not going to be anything more tragic than things happening to, to, to the people you love and just make sure you express that as much as you can don't stop yourself from crying if you need to cry don't stop yourself from shouting if you need to shout if other people are trying to make you feel better and that might not be what you need okay you might you might you have to make it i think if if that's not what you need make it clear to people that don't make me feel better if you want to be there for me just be and experience my grief just listen to me um or hear me cry or hear me scream accept my grief accept me expressing my sadness 
without trying to convince me that this is okay because it's not fucking okay. This is like, this is the, I think one of the worst thing you could do to people when they're going through grief is trying to convince them that things are not as bad as they are. That's not what they need because it, it, it does, they just, if they, if you want to be there for them, you just have to be there for them to express their sadness upon you. And you're just a receiver and you're just showing that you're like, you're, you're, that their cries are not going they're not just going into the void. There's a there's somebody there that is like go like ex- taking this pain, you know, holding some of this pain for 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 them, a little bit of it at least, right? And and your your pain and misery is being experienced by other people who care for you, right? So that's what they that's what that's what they need. And the worst this is why I don't think the the, the believer community are more equipped. The believer community are like the most destructive things you could do is like telling people that this is not a tragedy. And that's what the entire focus of an afterlife is is supposed to be. Okay. You're trying to like make a tragedy seem like it's not a tragedy and that's not what you need. Also, another thing that the believer community does is like, Oh, may, may her soul rest in peace. Like, Oh, fuck off. Like, you know, like you're trying to make it seem like my tragedy is not a tragedy. Again, I'm not saying be rude to people. They don't, they mean well. Okay. I don't like, I hate it when people tell like, Oh, her, her spirit is like, in heaven right now i mean like the in persian what i heard the most of the ruha shot sorry like like her spirit is sorry i'm spinning they're saying her spirit is happy right now right in my mind i was like shut the fuck up shut the fuck up and i had like wanted to punch these people in the face right but in reality i was never rude to them okay so i'm not saying like if these people are saying things that you don't like I'm not saying I'm not suggesting be that asshole atheist that goes people like don't pray for me I hate your prayers fuck your prayers like I'm not like being this cringy rated atheist like I'm not saying like I that was what it was going in my mind in real in 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 reality every time they said something like that to me I said thank you okay that's the only thing I said right um maybe maybe if you if if you don't want to tolerate that though you could respectfully ask them not to say that if you think that's if you don't like I'm not saying you have to tolerate it right but that's just what I did um um yeah so yeah but and also they mean well okay so they like even if they're giving you telling you something that is not very helpful at the end of the day they're saying the thing that they think is going to help you okay so even if it's not helping you <laughs> it's not like they're well meaning okay so don't be an, don't be an asshole to them right i mean if you end up being an asshole to them you're going through a tragedy so forgive yourself you're not supposed to be the best person and act the best way at the time that you're going through a tragedy so i'm not saying like if you if you do end up being an asshole to them i'm not saying that like, you're you're a, you're a monster or anything okay so there's that as well um that okay robert i am going to this this person robert Every time we're like trying to focus on a question that is meaningful to a lot of people, and a lot of people are very, very interested about it, um, this person comes out and like as soon as he finds a question boring or a content not that very interesting, uh, keeps saying next, next, this is boring. Oh my god, next! I will block you at some point, Robert, if I keep seeing this behavior from you. I don't need any of that from you. Other people are like m- might be benefiting. My- we're sharing things. Somebody asked this question. I'm taking their question very seriously, and I wish we had more time so I could spend more time in answering the question. Okay. Um. So yeah. No, r- n- n- and this is the most toxic thing. Anyway, saying just get over it. Everybody dies every- eventually. You're an idiot, Robert. Everybody dies eventually. When you lost your, when you lose your loved one, that hurts. Just because everybody dies, that doesn't mean it's not going to be. It's not going to be easy for everybody dies. You think that's a that's a way for you to be able to get over somebody losing somebody that you are in love with, that was the source of meaning in your entire life, or that was like one of the sources of meaning in your life. So that somebody that you shared your your childhood with, that that raised you, or that was your significant other that you had children with, that you shared so many experiences with, just because other people die, you're supposed to get over it. You can't get over it. And you're an idiot. You're an idiot. And if you keep being so toxic, like I don't have to deal with you in the live chat, like being such a such an asshole all the time. I could, I, 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 we don't like, honestly, like we don't need all the viewers. Um, we just, for me and Susanna are more interested in having a very healthy community here, more, rather than having like the biggest, followers possible okay so if this is the attitude that you have in the live chat i'm more than happy to get rid of you 
Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.